Hello, this is Robert the Vagabond Jerry. And today I am starting a caravan going into Mexico. It's with the Escapees RV Club. And we have 43 rigs that are caravanning from Tecate, Mexico to Gu Gu <laughs> Guerrero Negro, Mexico. We're making that a three-week trip going very slow, spending a couple days from place to place, and spending a whole week in Ensenada during Ensenada's Mardi Gras festival that they have every year. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're doing from time to time. Now, we don't have 43 RVs going back to back <laughs> down the highway. That would monopolize the highway. So, we are splitting these 43 people up into seven groups, and each group is spaced out by a half an hour. And here is one of those groups right now. Each group has a head, the person who's in charge of that group, and then the last rig is the tail gunner, who makes sure that everyone is doing okay no one's falling back and everyone is required to have a cb radio so that we can communicate with each other if someone's having a problem you go on the cb and let people know what your problem is and so everybody knows what is going on with all the rigs especially if there's any particular problem So here's the last one, and that is the group that is just before the group that I am in. Our first two nights on the road are spent dry camping in the parking lot of the Zoological Park Don Nino, which I did a separate video of. And since our rigs are all lined up here, I want to just show them to you. And you probably recognize this one right there. Here's some more of them. And the ones that have the trucks in front of them are the ones pulling fifth wheels or travel trailers. And there's another line of them right here. Going all the way down there. That's our 43 rigs with uh, about 80 people we've got here. Our first stop in Mexico is at the L.A. Seto Winery in the Valley de Guadalupe, which is where most of the wineries are in Mexico. So we're going to take a tour of the winery and then do some wine tasting. There's the name. And here's my group of escapees. This is the first week in February. So all of the wine fields here, I mean, <laughs> all of the grape fields here are very dry and looks dead. So this is not the growing season, but they have a really nice place here. Our fruity, refreshing, and semi-sweet. Look how huge the these tanks are. the flavors, aroma, or quality, and your white wines. And we don't with the whites. Send to the bottom, and after go to different. The semi-reserve or reserve line, 12 months to 16 months inside. Yeah, the boutique line, the premium bottles, 20 months. Three different holes. We have the big one, the medium, and the typical the small ones. So I want to start with the big. Red or Yugoslavia no. Inside, we aged it only in all the red wines from the classic line. The classic line are the more commercial ones we have in Mexico and we export to the 
you say. You can put in Costco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have quite a few square miles of fields here. Going in for the wine tasting now. By the way, the caravan came into Mexico at Tecate and we're on our way to Ensenada. And this winery is about halfway between Tecate and Ensenada. And I think they do sell wine here. Okay, so we're walking. We're good. Today. Like walking. I guess right? it's good exercise, right? Yeah. And I guess you are all too old, look like very active and healthy people, which is very good for this, right? So, and uh, we're going to do, actually the most of the walking that we'll have is going to be all for them. Like I became a wild person, nothing like that, you all look so great. So, uh, I guess it's going to be like 20 minutes, 20 minutes, okay? Uh, probably. So, uh, but it's like a nice walk, nice view, it's El Malecón is beautiful. I guess you haven't been there yet, so you're going to enjoy that, it's nice. And we'll be walking, uh, looking at the cruise ship. Uh, today we have to visit the uh, cruise ship in town. We'll be walking very close to the uh, pier where is the cruise ship on the Malecon. And um, we'll be taking care of you anyway, guiding you. Uh, you won't be able to Gabriel speak English, your driver. It's going to be the other tour guy, Gabriel. His name is Gabriel Tuoke. Okay? And uh, it's going to be uh, myself, they are both Gabriel. Okay, the other two family. We are from here, from Ensenada. Uh, Gabriel, my husband, and I were both uh, born and raised in Ensenada. Uh, of course, our son is also from here, from Ensenada. We've been all our lives here. So this is a family business, actually, in medicine and nutrition and, and all kinds of exercise and activities, physical activity. So that's a good career. And they can uh, practice or they do like a social service. And sometimes they send them to the beach early in the mornings to help people to have like a routine. Uh, they can bring their pets if they have their dogs, that's okay, of course. They gotta respect the area, but they do it and it's okay. So, and it's not a good place like for fishing. It's not a fishing area right here, like a beach to come here and fishing, no. It's just to exercise and just walk around. It's, so you must be very good swimmers, like, because it's, it's one thing I'm a good swimmer on a swimming pool and I'm a good swimmer on the ocean. So the United States, and that's but it's because, because they say money is cheaper. Cheaper. right here. They pay less to the workers on the pier. Or in Los Cabos, in the end, it's 800 miles away from here to Los Cabos. So it's like a day drive to Los Cabos, more or less. This is where we ate lunch, and this is what I had for lunch. A whole fish. 
This is Husong's Cantina, where it is rumored that the, the margarita was invented here, they say. And we are celebrating that by everyone having margaritas. He says they gotta make 10,000 posts, they're making 10 a day, and they're stealing nine of them. So he says they're never gonna finish the fence posts.
We are now in the process of leaving La Jolla Beach Camp and most of the RVs have already moved out. Thought we'd get one last look at the ocean. This is the Molino Viejo restaurant where we're staying two nights in their parking lot over here. It is just south of the town of San Quentin, although on the map it says San Quentin, which might be a little scary. And here's their parking lot where they let us stay our motorhomes for two nights. And we're parked right on the bay here. Pretty nice place. This is our next stop on the Mexico Caravan, El Papalón RV Park which is about 10 miles south of San Quentin, Mexico. And these are all dry camping spots. There's, a, I think, six that are full hookup sites. 
but they are not right on the beach like these are. Really nice sand here. It's nice, thick, clean looking sand. And you can just sit here all day and watch the ocean waves. Nice place to camp, especially if you don't need hookups. But you can get water and dump your tanks. I notice there's some water trapped in the dunes over there. And if you have a small vehicle, you can drive out onto the beach like that guy did. They do have a couple of buildings with restrooms and hot showers. Now the water comes from underneath the ground here. And there's naturally hot water that comes out of the ground, but then it's salty water. It's not near as salty as the ocean, but it's still a little salty. I've taken a few salt water showers. It's not too bad but it's not like getting a fresh water shower. And there's me right there. <laughs> and everybody's looking at the sunset right over the ocean. salt evaporation fields and here is a truck bringing in a load of salt each one of these cars has 1200 tons of salt 3600 tons right there Well, this is the final day on our three-week caravan and we're having a farewell dinner in the restaurant here they set out a buffet for us so we think we all had a good trip and no major problems the biggest problem was the roads being bad <laughs> with numerous chuck holes and some of them really big 
Other than that, no problem. We had a good time in Mexico. Good day, folks.